Greetings and welcome to this edition of Positronic. Positronic. I'm Barry P. Cook, and I'm here to talk about the latest episode of Supergirl Season 6 called Prom Night, which of course picked up where the last episode left off, which was Team Supergirl deciding that there had to be a time incursion back to the time when Kara was in high school because they need her DNA in order to trick one of the phantoms into tracking her so that they can find her and get her out of the phantom zone. Now, in my last review of a Supergirl episode where they came up with this crazy idea, I said, why don't they just go back to her apartment instead of going back in time and get her DNA off of a toothbrush or a mug or a hairbrush or her bed sheets like what why do they have to why do they have to go back in time and if they're going to go back in time oh, why didn't they just decide to go back to just before she got sent into the phantom zone and make sure that it didn't happen i would not have suggested doing that as a solution to the problem of Kara being in the Phantom Zone overall. But once they've decided that the solution to getting her out of the Phantom Zone has to involve time travel, what sane person is gonna say, let's go back 20 years and risk screwing up decades of the timeline in order to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish? When they could just go back like a week and stop her from going into the Phantom Zone. Like, okay, maybe there's a reason, but if they said what that reason is, I missed it. So they should either have done that instead of this or have said why they weren't doing that. Something like, well, because if we show up where we already were and all of us were there, it could cause a time disruption. Like, say something that explains why you're not doing the simple thing, but they don't. So this is like a really stupid plot because not only do they not have to do that to get DNA, but if they are gonna do it, the way they're doing it is harebrained to say the least. So I just, I'm a fan of this show, though I've always realized that it wasn't without flaws, but this is just stupid. I don't know, I just was annoyed from the beginning with the premise, uh, you know, the premise of this episode. Now, they say that they're going back in time to this particular moment to get her DNA because they know there will be DNA because she did something super heroic when a meteor crashed down, they're calling it a meteor, and at the same time somehow hurt Kara. Now, how did that happen unless it was kryptonite? I know that various villains have been able to hold their own against Kara in a fight, but like hurt her? That's not supposed to happen unless Kryptonite is present. So uh, that bothered me. One good thing about the episode in this plot was it was interesting to see the other actors playing Kara and Alex for an extended period of time before we've only seen them in brief flashbacks, if I remember correctly. So it was interesting just from a standpoint of someone who is a fan of the craft of acting, which I am. I thought they did a good job. The person that did a really good job though was the woman that they cast to play a younger cat, the younger version of Callista Flockhart's character. She did a really good job portraying the character in a way that it was reminiscent of Callista Flockhart's performance. So I thought that was really good. At one point, it came up that they needed a 3D printer, Team Flash and Team Flash, Team Supergirl, which in this episode was really only consisting of Brainy and Nia, alongside obviously Kara, Alex, and this other guy who I think his name was Kenny. They realized they need a 3D printer. So the guy Kenny says to Brainy, oh, well, why don't you just Dumbledore something up? And I thought that was funny. So I wrote that down. There's a scene in the episode where some aliens that are trying to kidnap Kara because she's Kryptonian in the, in the past have set a gasoline truck 
on the road at a high rate of speed with no driver, I guess to sort of draw her out. And it works because Kara alongside Nia go ahead and endeavor to stop the truck and they get behind the wheel, Kara does anyway, and Nia's in the passenger seat. And they're trying to figure out what they're gonna do. They can't seem to stop the truck, but they're on this road that's like next to wilderness. So I was thinking, why don't they just ditch the truck into the woods? Like just crash it into a tree. Obviously Dreamer would, ha Dreamer would have to get out of the truck, Nia, but they could have crashed it into a tree and Kara could just have put out any fire that resulted from any explosion immediately. Why did they risk keeping it on the road, especially after they see a stalled school bus <laughs> in the middle of the road? I just didn't understand that. So inevitably, uh, towards the end of this episode, Brainiac realizes that they have in fact changed the timeline by going back in time so far. Not that they wouldn't have changed it if they went back a week, but there's a big difference between changing, you know, the path of the future for a week and changing it for 20 years, although you never know what change you make in the past, even if it's only a week in the past, could do to the history, to what would be history after that week has again passed. But at least then no one who experienced that week would be aware of it. So it, it, this is why I don't understand what they were thinking, because there's no way they were gonna not change the timeline. And when they got to the end of the episode, it became obvious that this whole time travel thing is a two-parter. These shenanigans are going to continue next week. Uh, I just hope they get her out of the Phantom Zone at the end of the next episode and they can move on and stop doing this dumb stuff. And stop doing this whole thing about, we got to get her out, we got to get her out, we got to get her out, because it's just really boring. Like, can we see Supergirl being Supergirl? That would be good. The show is called Supergirl. It's been like four weeks. So... I don't know. That, that's really all I had to say about this episode. I, I, there's nothing else to really say. I mean, the actors do a great job in their parts. That's nothing new, but it's it. I'll be back with a review of the next episode. Until then, my friends, peace and long life. <laughs>